Hello and welcome. I'll be your tutor, Charlie, creator and president of Meducation Specialists, where we provide continuing education for today's progressive healthcare providers. Check out our website at medspx.com for all of your continuing education and certification test prep needs. We love to teach and train, and we've discovered innovative ways to help keep you sharp or just to prepare you for a difficult certification exam. So check us out. We can help. So let's go ahead and jump into the Parkland formula. Parkland formula has uh, three major terms, uh, the body service area times four. Now sometimes this can be two, two, four. The range is from two to four. I always just start with a four because let's not under rehydrate these burn patients. Let's, let's go ahead and get straight to the punch. Let's get them um, what they need. So I always choose four here. And then of course also, it's uh, the patient's weight in kilograms. Now, I want you to say something out loud. Uh, it's kind of corny, but that's okay. Divide by 2, divide by 8. Say it one more time. Divide by 2, divide by 8. If you're over there at home and you're not saying this out loud, at least just actively think it with me. Divide by 2, divide by 8. It's going to come into play here shortly. Because this is the simplest part of this whole equation is once you have the right numbers plugged in, this is just BSA times 4 times their weight in kilograms. The way that test makers make this hard is to get real tricky with the body surface area. They'll tell you the anterior this or the posterior that or half of this, half of that. We're not going to necessarily go into the rule of nines right now and how to quickly get that. That'll be for another um, lecture uh, because I want to keep this uh, strictly on calculating this, this formula. So uh, make sure to reference the rule of nines here. And we'll, again, kind of come back that to another lecture. Four, again, that's simple. It's already a number. Kilograms, this is the only way they can really make this hard if they put give it to you in pounds. And then you take um, take the patient weight in pounds and divide by, yep, 2.2. Okay, so that's no big deal. So what does this number give us? And this is the first big concept that we have to understand. This number gives us total fluid needs of the patient in 24 hours. Now, what was that little thing I made you say a second ago? So divide by 2 because ultimately um, this total 24 hours, this total amount of fluid has gets split in half, okay, so it completely gets half. Half of it goes here and given in the first eight hours. And the other half is given in the later 16 hours. So this is given in the first, and this is given in the last 16. First eight, last 16. It's just, you split it right down the middle. Half of it goes here, half of it goes here. So that's where we uh, divide by 2, so the total fluid, divide by 2, and then we divide by 8 to get how much per hour. Okay, so again, divide by 2, divide by 8. This gets us to these two numbers. So let's say that the total fluid, just for example, is 2,000. CCs. Okay, so then of course 1,000 goes here, 1,000 goes there. So we've divided by two, we've split it. Then we just take this one that goes in over eight hours, first eight hours, and then we divide by eight. So 1,000 divided by eight is 125 CCs per hour. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so let's. Uh, here's our structure here. Um, Body surface area times 4 times kilogram. This gives us, again, total in 24 hours. We divide by 2, then divide by 8. So here we go. Divide by 2. This gives us total fluid in 8 hours. And then over here would be total fluid in 16. We take that 8. We've divided by 2, divided by 8. Here we go. Divide by 8. That gives us um, the flow rate per hour. In hours or rather hour. Um, this is what we put on the pump. This is what we know exactly uh, what to give. So let's go ahead and just do a quick little problem. Let's say we evaluate our patient. Um, first degree burns, 
we have 30% body surface area. Second degree burns, we have 21% body surface area affected. And third degree burns, we have 4% body surface area affected. Now, here's where they'll get you because the Parkland formula only counts when you're talking BS, body surface area or BSA when it's second and third degree burns. So don't worry about the first degree. Only focus on the blistered areas and the areas that are waxy and really firm, maybe even gray a little bit. That's going to be your second and your third degrees, respectively. Okay, so here we go. 21 plus 4, that's 25% body surface area. Okay, so go ahead right here. When you, and I always write out BSA times 4 times kilograms. And I just go ahead right above it and write, that's going to be 25%. Uh, of course, 4 is going to be 4. Um, and then kilograms here... Um, here's your patient weight in pounds divide by 2.2 this is 100 kilos so then put 100 kilos here so when we crunch the numbers 25 times 4 is 100 and 100 times 100 is 10,000 cc's 10,000 cc's now that also equals 10 liters. Okay, so 10 liter bags of saline this person has to have in 24 hours. So what do we get that number once we get the 10,000? Yep, we divide by 2. So 10,000 divided by 2 is 5,000. So in 8 hours, the first 8 hours they need to get 5 liters. In the next 16 after that, they need to get another 5,000. But usually you're not at this point. Usually in critical care transport or in uh, ground uh, ALS transport, you're only going to be dealing with them with the first hour in ALS and maybe the first couple hours in critical care. But if you transport a patient in that uh, 16 hours in, in there after that eighth hour of burn but not past 24, then you'd worry about this. But for right now, we divide by 2, we get 5,000, we divide by 8 and get 625. So in the first hour, they need to get 625 cc's of uh, fluid. Now, the way that they can get you on some of these problems is by throwing curveballs like, okay, our patient, before you got there, was hypotensive for whatever reason, and they received 1,000 cc's of fluid. So now, how does that tie in? Now, a lot of experts will tell you that once you get this total fluid, this is a total need in 24 hours. All you do is you take that 1,000, you subtract it from 10,000, start from there. So then it'd be divide by 2, and we get 4,500, and then you divide by 8, and you get 562. Okay, so again, all we're doing is you have three terms. Body surface area, the number four kilograms. Simple to remember. Okay, we got that part, no problem. That gets you total in a 24 hour period. Now, what do we do? We divide by two, then we divide by eight. And it's that simple. That number that we get after we divide this total by two, enter, and then divide by eight, enter. That number is flow rate per hour that you need to, and, and ultimately that first hour they need to go ahead and get that fluid. So if you hang that fluid up and either eyeball it on a with a drip chamber or you put them on a pump, um, that number is what they should get that first hour. So go ahead and put that on a pump. If they get hypotensive uh, for whatever reason after that and you need to give a fluid bolus, just keep that separate. Keep the, they go ahead and because you can you can give more fluid. What you don't want to do is under fluid resuscitate these people. You can give more fluid as long as you're not flooding their lungs, of course. But in the end, um, body surface area times 4 times kilograms equals total in 24 hours. Divide by 2, divide by 8. That gets us our flow rate, rate for the hour and ultimately what they need to get each hour uh, for the next 8 hours. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, hopefully we can offer you some good training in the future. Uh, soon we'll have up uh, our channel with uh, multiple different tutorials, problem solving. I'll open up uh, my blog uh, for you to send in questions so that we can go over together. EKG, drug calculation, overall scenarios, we'll, we'll cover it all. My goal ultimately is just to make EMS better. The best way we can do that is to, no matter what level we're at, to constantly strive to be better, constantly educate ourselves, reach degree status, whether it's associates or bachelors, masters, or beyond, and just get better as a whole, bound together, and uh, fight for what we all believe in. Okay, well, again, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon.